guest we have not had on the show in quite some time, thankfully, since we've been in our homes, right? But now that we are back in studio, we decided to extend our guest list right with this unusual one. This little gator, one of the many examples of animals that you can see at the Florida Aquarium. And I got to be honest, you say he looks happy. I'm not so sure. I don't know about that either. <laughs> he looks a little, well, I think he's just overwhelmed with all the lights and everything. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Matt Allen is with us from the Florida Aquarium to introduce us and talk about everything that you can enjoy at the Florida Aquarium as well. Hey. You don't see a smile there? Uh, That's I, it. I mean, I there's definitely know. a curve up on the. Okay, the maybe, <laughs> maybe. Well, introduce us, Matt. What sure. do we have here? So, this is Marshall. Marshall is Marshall. one year, six okay. months, and eight days old. So, very specific. And uh, just so just a little alligator. And this is an American alligator. And we do have a lot of American alligators and other wetlands type animals at mm -hmm. the Florida Aquarium. If you guys come check it out, lots of birds, as well as, of course, fish. We're an aquarium, so lots of wonderful fish, sharks, things like that. But, you know, these are kind of one of the highlights, I think, at the aquarium, cute little alligators. Here. And guests get to see him up close like this. So this one here mm -hmm. is one of our ambassador animals for our, our learning department. So you might see this one okay. up close, just like you're seeing it right now. Oh However, God. there are some small and larger alligators that everyone can definitely take a good look at in our wetlands habitat area. I don't think Marshall likes me. He's kind of, oh. he's keeping an eye on me, I feel like. He's kind of like slowly moving his legs. I don't think we have a, we're not feeling it today, Matt. But just because, you know, alligators, my might not be your thing like you brought up all of the other species that you can see. Florida Aquarium, I feel like you're always talking about, of course, the conservation elements behind what you do and then all of the wonderful species that you can see. Absolutely. If you come visit the Florida Aquarium, not only are you going to get to see really cool animals like Marshall, but you are actually helping to learn and support an organization that does a lot of conservation work with coral and sea turtles and so many other things. And there's so many other things to do as well for people that perhaps have gone to the aquarium several times they want to check out some other stuff like the outdoor area for kids mm. and whatnot. Could you talk to us about that? Yeah, so we, we call it the splash pad yes. and it is basically a little water park and dry playground that uh, is a very big hit with the, with the smaller folks yes. uh, that, that you can come and see it. Lots of exciting stuff. Excellent. And the weather's perfect for that right now. So it really yeah, is. you got to come really visit. Is. How's the feedback? Because I feel like it wasn't that long ago. But again, we had like the weird like time warp that was the past few years in COVID. <laughs> um, I feel like it hasn't been open that while. But talk about what that outdoor unit has brought, like the feedback that you get from the patrons who do visit regularly. Yeah, well, I know that we do have a lot of, of people that get memberships and they get memberships to see the aquarium, but also to just come and experience just the whole aquarium on as a whole thing, but also to enjoy that outdoor area. It's right on the water, so you can just kind of sit out there, get a cool breeze. We've also got the Four Ducks Theater, so it's mm -hmm. like a 4D theater that's included with your admission. So really a lot to do as far as inside and outside the aquarium. Now, I know that gators are very popular, obviously. They represent Florida in general, but can you tell us about, you know, anything that's happening? Like, do you have any new hatchlings, any babies coming around? Because I know it's springtime approaching, so is it like that for gators as well? Good call. Well, so, so here's the thing. We uh -huh. don't actually breed them at the Florida Aquarium, but okay. you're, you're right. We are getting into, really, mating season for oh. alligators. <laughs> and so if you're, if you're out and about in the next few months, not only can you look for alligators that are going to be a little more active, but you might hear them. Them. So alligators will do this really cool thing called bellowing, and it's a low rumble that can travel up to two miles. Wow. The males do this, the females do this, and if you see one doing it, you might even see water splashing off the top of their wow. back. The, the vibration causes a really cool effect. By the way, I love how Matt says a really cool thing. By the way, on his name tag, he even <laughs> likes to talk about sea monsters, according to that. So, I mean, Matt, I see a theme here. I, I can tell that you are interested in those creatures that, I'm going to say, are sometimes misunderstood in including Marshall here. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a passion of mine. I, you know, when I was a kid, I was interested into those animals because of those reasons. And as I learned more about them, I realized that they're really not that scary. And, and actually, they need people to kind of back them up and help them out, so. I don't know about the scary part. I, you know, I'm glad that, that he's here and he's cute, but I don't know. Maybe when he, when would he become like really, really big, still considered yeah. a baby though? Like what's Yeah. So alligators, well, alligators grow dependent on the temperatures and how okay. much they're eating. So a South Florida alligator is going to grow faster than one that lives in the Carolinas because uh -huh. they don't go through that okay. winter in South Florida. So that during winter, they're not going to eat. Uh, but typically an alligator is going to get about six 
feet or so after probably about eight to ten years, depending on okay. where they're located. And uh, they're, but you know. So their age is basically according huh. to the weather. It's according, huh. yeah, weather, food, things like that. Oh, well, you I know see? sometimes we'll see one so on the golf course behind my house in the water. <laughs> I wish they were all this side <laughs> there, but they are not. But if you want to enjoy the babies, the big ones, and everything in between, of course, check out Florida Aquarium. It's spring break coming up, so it's such a good time to have fun there. Matt, thanks for being with us. You're Thank, welcome. You. Thank you. And introducing us to Marshall. Absolutely. <laughs>